Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today we are going to talk again about NVIDIA Optimus. I have here a Dell XPS 1797-10 with an Intel and NVIDIA card and I'm going to show you in this video another tool on how you can use NVIDIA Optimus. So without further ado, let's get started. So hello everyone, welcome back here to another video. Today I am on the GNOME desktop environment here on Arch. I'm testing a few things in GNOME these days. And what I want to talk about in this video is NVIDIA. And specifically because I got a few weeks ago to test a new XPS 1797.10. So let me open up here the settings so that I can show you. And let's go to About. And so you can see here I have uh, XPS 1797.10. This is an 11th generation i7 processor. It has two terabytes SSD and a 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it comes with two graphic cards. Now it comes, as you can see here, with an Intel UHD graphic card, but it has also an NVIDIA card. So let me pull up here one terminal and we can use the LSPCI command here to check which video cards are installed in the system. So let me paste this in and hit enter. And you can see in the machine, we have the UHD graphics from Intel, and we have also the NVIDIA RTX 3050. This specific model here has four gigabytes of dedicated RAM. Now, the issue with this laptop was when I started to use Arch on it, I wanted to have actually the ability to switch graphics when I needed. So I tested out several tools and I found one which actually is fairly simple to use. And it's not Optimus Manager this time, I'm gonna show you another tool. So let me close this terminal and pull up here the browser and let me go full screen here. So the tool is called NV Control. It's also documented, well, not really documented, but it's also mentioned in the Arch Wiki, and I'm gonna show it to you in this video. It's a very simple tool that you can install. It's available, of course, in the AUR. This tool was developed specifically for Arch, but it should work also on other distributions, as it mentions also here in the GitHub project. Now, it's fairly simple. You just have to download it and install it with Paru if you have it installed. You can use Yay as well, or you can use Pamac if you are on Manjaro. You can, of course, also use the git clone command to clone the repository and install it the same way you will install with git on arch and once it's installed you can use the sudo nv control dash dash switch command and then the mode you want which is basically one of the modes you want to use so it could be integrated it can be nvidia or it could be hybrid now right now i'm using the hybrid mode so if i pull up again a terminal here and i type in nv control dash dash status you can see there my current graphics mode is hybrid. Now I can set this to integrated, that will switch off completely my NVIDIA card. And if I would type in NVIDIA, it would use only the NVIDIA card. Now notice here that when you switch mode, you will be asked to reboot the machine. This works very similarly to the System76 power applet that we have also available in the AUR. And every time you switch your graphic card, or better said, every time you switch mode, you will have to reboot the machine. Now, if you reboot the machine in the integrated status, you will basically switch off completely the NVIDIA card. Now, dynamic power management is supported only on NVIDIA cards, which are based on the Turing model. So it depends really on the card you have. But if you have one of the newer cards, if you switch to integrated, you will basically switch off completely your NVIDIA card, which basically gives you the advantage to use something like Wayland if you want to use Wayland and to have longer battery life. Now, if performance is important to you or you're gaming a lot, you might want to switch to the NVIDIA mode. Then, of course, you will have less battery life. And if you want to have a hybrid environment, you can switch to the hybrid mode. Now, this is what I have here. So by default, in a hybrid mode, I'm using the integrated card. Now, I'll go back here to the GitHub repository and click here on the frequently asked questions. And as you can see here, integrated, this mode will power off the NVIDIA GPU by blacklisting the NVIDIA and Nouveau drivers. So if I would go into integrated mode, when I check which graphic cards are available in my system, the NVIDIA card is not going to be any more present because it's completely switched off. 
Now, as I said before, NVIDIA mode, you will use only NVIDIA cards. And for the hybrid mode here, this is the default behavior for both NVIDIA and Nouveau drivers. Now, if you want to use the hybrid mode, you will have to specify which applications you want to use on the NVIDIA card if you want to do so. Now, one issue I had when I installed Archer with this tool was that when I was booting up, for example, in hybrid mode or integrated mode, I would basically boot up in a black screen. I wasn't able to boot in. I was able only to boot in when I was in NVIDIA. So I had to troubleshoot this a little and I found out the solution. So let me close this window here. I will leave a link, by the way, to it in the video description below. Let me open up the terminal and let me type in here, but slash etsy slash mk in its cpio.conf. Now the bad utility is basically the cat utility with syntax highlighting. If you don't know this utility, it's very handy. I will do another video on it more specifically. And so usually when I install Arch, I would enter here in the module section, basically the driver of my graphic card. So it could be Nvidia if you have an Nvidia card, it can be AMD GPU if you have an AMD card, or if you have an Intel card and if you're using the Intel driver, you can type it in here I915. If you're using the Mesa driver, you don't have to do basically anything. Now the problem was that I inserted here the Nvidia module of the Nvidia driver and doing so basically was not allowing me to boot into integrated or hybrid mode. So once I removed this and regenerated my initram FS, I was able to use both integrated and hybrid mode. Now with integrated mode, my NVIDIA GPU in this laptop, it's completely switched off. And in hybrid mode, I have the choice whether I want to use the NVIDIA card or the Intel card. Now by default, as I said before, I'm using the NVIDIA card, as it says again here in the settings. You can see here, I'm using by default the Intel UHD graphics. So every time I'm booting our program here, it's basically running on the Intel card. Now, if I wanna run something on the NVIDIA card, I have to tell it specifically to do so. Now, for example, you can see here, I have here OBS Studio. Now, OBS Studio is configured in a way that it's running on the NVIDIA card. Now, OBS in this installation is installed via Flatpak, and that's because it's also allowing me to run on Wayland. But right now, because I am using the hybrid mode, I switched actually to Xorg. And that's important to know because if you're using the NVIDIA mode or the hybrid mode, you will need to switch to Xorg to use it. Now, to do this, of course, you need to select Xorg on the GDM. When you are on GNOME, for example, you can select GNOME on Xorg from there, or you can disable completely Wayland if you wish in the gdm.com file here in the Etsy directory. But if you want to use both, you can just select Xorg or select Wayland if you want to use the integrated mode. It's really up to you. Now, here I am on Xorg. Again, if I pull up here the window, you can see here the windowing system is X11. So if you want to use applications using the NVIDIA card, you would have to define the environment variable that was shown before in the GitHub project. So for example, if you want to run one application, you just have to enter those variables into your environment here, following the name of the application that you want to use, and that application will basically run with the NVIDIA card. Now, the problem is, for example, if you're using something like Flatpaks, how do you do this on Flatpaks? You can do it via the CLI, or you can do it also with an application called FlatSeal. Now, FlatSeal basically allows you to tweak your Flatpaks if you have them. So let me open this up. You can see it's already installed here in the system. And a few Flatpaks I have here, I have uh, Celluloid, FlatSeal also is installed from Flatpak. I have Caden Live, the Notes application, and also OBS Studio. Now, if you see here OBS Studio, if I scroll down here to the environment, I have the variables already selected here for NVIDIA. But how do we know if actually OBS Studio is running on NVIDIA? Well, that's fairly simple. Let me close this. We can use the watch command. So we can type in here, for example, watch dash n1 on NVIDIA dash SMI and then hit enter. Now you can see here, it's telling you basically which applications are using my NVIDIA card right now. So you can see here, I have OBS Studio running on it. And that's because I defined the variables for it. But if I would have, for example, Caden Live, you can see here, let me minimize this. You can see nothing appears here. So Caden Live is basically running on my Intel card and I wish actually to run it on my NVIDIA card. So how do we do this? Well, it's fairly simple. Again, we go into flat seal and what we need to do here, we need to basically copy these variables and I go to Caden Live here 
and I can just click the plus on variables here and paste it in. And I'll copy also the second variable here, go back to Caden Live, click the plus here and paste that in. Then I can close this. And once I run the Caden Live program again, you can see it pops up immediately here in my watch. So right now I'm using Candle Live and OBS on my NVIDIA card and every other application is running on the Intel card. So it's fairly simple here with uh, easy control and also flat seal if you're using flat packs to basically use your Intel card and your NVIDIA card on your laptop. Now, as I said before, there are also other tools that you can use. And I did also videos about Optimus Manager, for example, and NVIDIA Prime on the channel. So check those out if you want to have alternative ways to run also the NVIDIA card on your laptop. But easy control, it's very easy and simple to use. So try it out if you haven't yet. And let me know how it works for you in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let me also know in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. So MV Control is another tool to use NVIDIA Optimus. As you can see, it's very simple to install and to use and also to configure your applications using the NVIDIA card. If you're using this tool and you have other tips or tricks, let me know also in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one.